So for this time, I will talk about the face. Now, as you can see, I am I have selected the face. If this is how I do it, if I just cut it by the edge of the original image, this is what I get. And copy, paste, and I'll get this face out. The problem, what is the problem? The problem is that there is a lot of void areas if the hair is to move. So again, this is not how you do the face. The face, you will need a lot more areas coverage than the original is showing. So what I need to do right here is first of all, I need to do some of the dots. Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over. So what I need to do for face, it's really simpler than it seems. I'm gonna make sure the curve is right, right there. And the curve right here, oops. Now, beyond this point, right, I need to make up the imaginary area right here. Don't don't involve the ears because the ears are a separate piece. Well, you can. It's an option. Some of my works involves like some of my works include the ears into the face. Some of them are separated. Um, I don't seem it doesn't seem they have a major difference, but um, I guess for a habit, for a good habit, you want to have them separated. So there you go. And that's about the piece that I need to cover. Well, a little bit more extra than it used to be. I just like it round instead of like a weird shape. So now I need to do is copy and uh, select the area. Sorry. And copy and paste. And there I have my face. Whoa, that's a lot of extra stuff that I don't need. So first of all, clear out the eyes. Uh, do I want to keep the shadow? Do I want a separate layer of shadow? Eh, let me think. Did I have separate layers of shadow? I don't think so. Yeah, no, yeah, I have everything in uh, one piece. So, um, Bad news is that there's a little bit of uh, a lot of thinking happening as you do this, right? You have to clear out the eyes for sure. Clear out the eyes. Clear out the eyelids. Uh, keep the mole. Keep the mole. For my case, keep the mole. Yeah, well, for, for your case too. If you have a mole on face, you should keep it. You shouldn't be having a separate layer for the mole. And just try to take out the bright area first don't involve the shades because you want to keep the shades all right so maybe you'll leave the shades for hair purposes later on like the hair would continue to use the shade on the face as you animate it so get the nose away um, take the mouth and the rest of it use shades all right so this part on you can start to using dark shade what I prefer is that having a new mask layer and just paint over the shades oops again these part are th th these parts is imaginary uh, sort of like this maybe uh, maybe 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 like that uh yeah why not Ooh. maybe like that you see a lot of guessing is happening i don't actually know exactly where the shade ends where it stretches how far it stretches i don't know i just have to take a guess but what i do know is that i don't want any hair outline or hair color to be in this part and i can add and uh, well, I can still finish the painting right here. Paint it up, paint it up. This whole piece, it should be, it wouldn't show very little chance that they would show this part, but I'm just gonna paint it all up. And the rest, I will have to refine it by, um, yeah, by doing this first. 
what should I do? I should get the next layer, Control Shift N, and maybe I use the pen tool. I use the pen tool for this part. It doesn't have to be exactly pre precise. I, it just has to be uh, approximate. Some vague guess of where the shadow ends would be good enough. Oh, where am I? Like that. Please do the thing. Okay, there you go. And this part, like. Here, I guess. This part here. And this part here. here and just approximately this area what I'm doing is I am highlighting the bright area I create a mask or a selection and just dab this color over it and of course I need the mole back where's my mole the other mole the rest are just shade colors at the back so go back to the shade to the shade colors and I'll paint up this area oops so there you go that is a nice face nice face right there the two moles and that's all I need the rest are um, done separately so that is the face for you you can work on the outline a little bit um, don't involve the neck. The neck is a separate uh, layer as well. And that's about it.